Hello friends. In this video, I will make a very simple audio player app. Let's get started. Let's name it as audio player. Then hit the next button. And one the any one of these API level only pop and next and I want to choose the activity this so it will take some time and wait for it so gradle build has finished now we can work with that let's first delete it and for audio player let's drag one audio from the so i have audio here i have downloads downloaded some songs so let's take it and copy it then make here in the resource file make one new directory name it as raw you can give any other name also and now you can see here we have this raw folder and this the audio here and we have to give name uh, we have this name here have to take it uh, give the name with small letter okay it will work you can say file pattern mp okay and here we have this now uh, to the activity first here i want to define this m player media player here we need a media player so we have this media player let's say name it as m player we are putting here the reference variable for media player and then the on create have to do one thing here we have this media player media player dot create yeah here we have this method create. this will this whole thing will turn an object here this is the object and the reference for this media player and this create we have to pass the pass of this This is the path r dot raw dot this is the song name actually and also with that we have passed this context and here this is the context this here is the context and this is the path for this mp3 song and along with that we have to start so m player dot start and this will start the process and we can now run this app and we have to wait for it and the player is started we can hear the sound but you see here we don't have any control so to create control we have to go for more methods so just i have to close it and now i will go for controlling so to control this audio uh, i want to take one button here with this button we can pause and play the audio 
let's give it some ID. And I want to give it as play button. This is the ID for this. And along with that, I want to send the text here. Let's say play. And one warning here is because we use string source for that. Let's go to this text. And here, just click here and press alt enter and you can see it is showing extract string resource just hit here and it will give us a string so the error has gone now yes there is no warning and this will allow us to play the video play the audio and i want to take one more button and this will allow us to pause the video so let's give it a name pause and also one id let's say pause audio i have given this id and name all along with that i have to put the constraint here because constraint layout and same case similar case for this also we have to do we have to extract the string resources alt enter and hit and now we can go to our creativity java plus here first ref, click the reference of these two button so button play play button let's say play button and for the second one pause okay you will see pause button all right now here i have to initialize that play and pause button for that play button 12 find find view by id r dot id dot play button all right and along with that we have to type cast it also to button and for the second one, pause button we have to work that also pause button equals find you by id r dot id dot pause button here we have pause audio pause audio it will also work now let's check it out that is pause audio or not here it is pause audio for this play button right then when the user press the play button the music should start so the audio should start so play button dot i want to set on click listener for that set on click listener new on click listener and inside that i have to copy this code and paste there instead of putting this code outside we have to paste it here and for the second one for this pause button we have to do similar uh, similar thing and this is pause button dot set on click listener again we have to set on click list for that on click listener and then for this here we have to do m player dot stop instead of start here i here we have to do stop not stop pause if we uh, give the method here stop then it will completely stop the audio so but this pause will pause this audio and let's check it out
it will take some time the app is launching app has started and now we can use this play button to play the audio let's check it out first i'm using here actual device instead of the virtual so like this let's check it and here we can hear the sound and let's check the pause button click here and we can here there is no sound now again let's pause play and it is again playing again let's check it is working and the pause is also working and here we can use more methods to implement uh, to extend this audio player here we can put this progress bar and also volume control like that but for that we have to make more modifications in code and i will bring all the things later for this tutorial this i think enough and thank you for watching hope you like and subscribe our channel